Empowerment versus victim. Who wants to give me a, their opinion on that? Because you're going to be right, whatever you say. How about in the orange? Um, Does that mean to you? Well, victim is like thinking that everything is all bad. Very nice, very nice. Man. Excellent. I might tweak that a little bit and say when he says good and bad, good meaning I can make changes. I have the ability to get what I want. I can learn whatever I need to learn. I can achieve whatever I need to achieve. I can get whatever I need from my coaches and turn that into feeling great, which is going to end up becoming wins. Etc. 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 Right. So let me tell you how I became on this side. Because for a while in my life, I, I, I fell on this side quite often. I had a number of. Uh, I gave you one uh, when I was a baseball player, but later in my life, I had a uh, a new job, and I had a boss, and he was rough. And I had no idea how to do this job. I was like, the second day on the job, I hadn't gotten any training. And I go into this meeting with my boss and my partner. And the two of us are supposed to run the place and our boss just kind of oversees everything. And we go into our first meeting and I got my notebook and I'm ready to, and I'm taking notes. He's saying, you guys need to do this and you need to do that. And this needs to be done by tomorrow. And this needs to be done by yesterday. So you're already behind on that. I just showed up. Right? This stuff that's been happening for months, and then he's telling me I gotta do this. <laughs> Corporate world, and people been in that, yeah? Anyway, I got this whole list of things we're supposed to do the next day, or, or within the next week. And I have no clue. It's all Chinese to me. So I go to my partner, and I say, so how do we do this? How do we do this? He goes, I don't know. Well, what about this one? And he goes, ah, we'll, we'll be fine on that one. Well, what about this next one? He says, well, I'm not sure about that, but you know, I'm not too worried about it. That guy ended up getting fired about a year later. And he's the guy I'm spo who's supposed to train me. So I go, well, I can't afford to just blow this stuff off like he's doing. So I go knock on my boss's door. It's like an hour after the meeting. And I say, hey, boss, um, he's like this at his computer. And I'm over there. And he's just typing away on his computer. He's not even looking at me. I'm saying, so boss, uh, you told me we need to do this, and we need to do that, and we need to do this, and, this, and I don't know how to do that, and can you give me some uh, help on where I can find the answers to do this and that? And I'm just going on, on and on and on, he's not saying anything, so I just keep talking, I'm not sure what to do, blah, blah, blah. And finally, he goes like this. I'm real busy, figure it out. And I go walk out of his office like that. I can't afford to lose this job. I've got to do this. I've got kids. I've got a mortgage. So I get in my office and I stare at the wall for a while and what did I get myself into? This is going to be the guy I worked for for who knows how long. And then it just clicked. And I went from here to there. And I just started dialing the phone for answers. I just started asking anybody, who can help me with this? Who can help me with that? Do you know anybody who knows somebody who might know how to do this? And I just never stopped going until I got the answers and just started digging in. And ever since then, I say to myself all the time, and I actually feel it because in the beginning, I just faked and pretended. And now my mantra is, I'll figure it out. And that's how I am able to believe in myself. I can figure it out. And plenty of times, even today, I'll be on some project or some new uh, new website or something like some technological thing, and I have no clue what to do. And sometimes I get all frustrated and I go, oh, snap, I'll figure it out. And that just sticks with me my, everywhere I go. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer.